now we're on the, sort of the heart of the Fanshawe Lake Trail. Uh, basically, location would be north of Fanshawe Golf Course, and kind of off to my right or your left would be actually where the Thames River empties into Fanshawe Reservoir. It's the multi use trail we have here at the park, where predominantly over the last few years it's really become an attraction for this region for mountain bikers. Uh, but I know when I walk the trail to do my inspections and checks and that, uh, a lot of people like just to hike it still, and a lot of people use it for jogging and that, so it's really a good multi-use trail. Yeah, the, the issue here and the reason why we have this sign post is, like, about a month ago it came to our attention that uh, some people had kind of taken their liberty of building a legal trail off of our lake trail here at Fanshawe. And, um, by doing that what they did is um, they've allowed a number of invasive species to start to creep into this uh, significant woodlot that we have here on our property. Um, you know, it's not marked. There are numerous uh, risk hazards in there, such as um, you know dead trees, uh, trees that have broken off and that could potentially fall on that. So, what we've done is uh, we've posted some signs along the trail here, um, just letting our patrons know that it's not an Upper Thames Trail. Uh, that we would not go into an area like this because, um, as I've, I've mentioned, is our biologists and ecologists that have told us that it's a significant area to stay out of it. So our trail stays on the reservoir. But so we've marked it as trespassing and. Basically our take on it at the, at the park is if someone was to be found in this area at this time um, under the Trespass to Property Act uh, that, that they could be charged uh, for going in that location. This is, this is actually a really unique deciduous forest that, that's behind me here. It does have some um, very old growth in here, very large trees. Um, there's quite a few red oaks and, and sugar maples and, and beech, so it is an upland forest. Um, as, as I said, we do have some uh, locally uncommon um, trees in here, one being the chickapin oak that uh, grows in this, this particular area. Well, uh, this is the, the trail that they, they formed or, or made off um, the original trail that is an illegal trail, as, as Damien mentioned. And you can see that how compacted it is and um, the vegetation has a very difficult time obviously coming up through this. And if you look over here, um, along the trail now, we're starting to get um, some invasive species that will tolerate that compaction. Um, and this is the buckthorn. And um, as I mentioned, it will take over our natural vegetation. Well, this is garlic mustard. And um, since this trail's been open, it's, it's, um, we figure it's only been a couple of months that it has been open. Um, all along the trail now, we're starting to get the, the garlic mustard come in because of the compaction. And um, it's a real shame because this is a very significant woodlot. And once we get this species in the woodlot, um, it will displace our, our native trilliums and, and other native species. The way this species spreads um, is um, the seeds do get on the wheels of the, the bike tires and on the treads of boots. And as I mentioned, all along the trail now, um, we do have the garlic mustard that's come in and it's only been um, a, a, few, a few months and, and that's how quickly it can spread right into the center of a, a natural area. Who innocently think this is one of our trails that could come here that you know, something like this hitting them on the head um, could kill somebody or really seriously injure them. So that's what our worry is. Um, on our marked trails that we do manage um, on a monthly basis, we're looking for exactly stuff like this or there's a, a standing dead tree right here that uh, we remove those so that the hazard is taken away for our patron. Three operational conservation areas, Fanshawe here in London, uh, Wildwood is just up on the outside of St. Mary's and Pidock is just uh, on the north end of Woodstock. Um, Wildwood and Fanshawe, we both have extensive uh, lake trails that basically are circular around our reservoirs, um, but all three conservation areas do have smaller loop trails or sort of destination point trails. And uh, we really stress to people like we, we want them to come and, and use our trails, use our day use areas, um, but to do it in a safe way. And, and part of the, that safe way is to stay on the trails that we've created for you um, that are managed, that they are safe, risk management is occurring on them on a regular basis. There's a, either an individual day use fee that people can use if they think they just might want to come in one time and try the parks, or they could get like a season's pass and they can use those permits and passes at all three of our conservation areas. 